Hello my dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are going to discuss about electromagnetic induction chapter. Last class we learned about Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and Lenz's law. And today we are going to study about motional EMF. What is motional EMF? Name itself says it's moving. Right? What is moving over there? If I am considering a conductor placed in a magnetic field. A conductor is placed in a magnetic field. Conductor means we know it can conduct electricity. That is charges are moving. Electrons can move inside the conductor. Right? So it is present in a magnetic field. When the conductor is present in a magnetic field and this conductor is moving. This conductor is moving in this magnetic field. So here it will be having positive charges and negative charges. Electrons will be moving. See suppose I am assuming the electron is moving from P to Q. When electrons are moving from P to Q, the upper part of the conductor will be having a positive charge and the lower part will be having a negative charge. So due to the movement of charges, an EMF will be inducing in that conductor. Okay, so magnetic field is present, the conductor is moving in that and the charge is also moving inside the conductor. So because of that an EMF is inducing in the conductor due to the movement of the conductor that is called a motional EMF. So till when this uh, process this positive charge will be moving towards the, uh, uh, the other side. So that or electrons are moving to the side that's why positive charge is creating over there till when this process will continue. The process will be continuing when this electric force is equal to the magnetic force. Till that point, this process will be continuing. The EMF induced in such a way is called a motional EMF. Due to the movement of conductor in presence of a magnetic field, an EMF is inducing and that EMF is called as motional EMF. Okay, so this motional EMF See, we can find out this motional EMF, value of motional EMF as E is equal to BLV. Okay, B is the magnetic field of the, uh, in the conductor where conductor is present. L is the length of the conductor. V is the velocity of the conductor which is moving in the magnetic field. E, e, e equals BLV. See the uh, derivation and all are there in your textbook. Derivation you will be doing with uh, see work done per unit charge. E is equal to W by Q. You will find out W and then dividing by Q that is dividing by E you will be getting uh, this uh, EMF. EMF E is equal to BLV. This, uh, this is the formula for finding out the motional EMF. Okay. Then here we can find out the power or energy consideration. How we can find out the power the power induced in the conductor. Okay. Power. Power how we can find out. Power will be equal to uh, see uh, I square R. This is the formula. For that we need the uh, value of I. I is equal to E by R. V by R right. B L V divided by R. So power will be equal to B square L square V square by R square into R. So B square L square V square by R will be the power induced in the circuit or we can say that will be the heat energy developed per second. Heat energy will be equal to uh, the uh, heat energy developed per second is equal to that is a heat energy H is equal to I square RT. Right, I square RT is the formula. So if we are finding out the heat energy per second, that will be equal to the power. So B square L square V square by R. Okay, clear? So this is how we will be finding out the power developed in the circuit. Next, we are going to study about eddy current. What is meant by eddy current? If I am considering bulk pieces of conductor, Bulk pieces of conductor is present in a, is, uh, the magnetic field is changing. 
the magnetic field across the bulk pieces of conductor is changing and emf will be inducing in that circuit right the current developed will be like a volts of current that is a large with a high value of others it will be whirling around that okay that is called a eddy current it will be like eddies eddies means like waves okay it will be so here if bulk pieces of conductor if we are considering a large conductor which has very bulk conductors considering the bulk conductors in presence of a magnetic field okay so then emf induced will be or current induced will be a large amount that current is called as eddy current okay eddy current are the induced current which is produced in presence of a magnetic field if we are present if a bulk piece of conductor is present in that okay that is eddy current eddy current how we can find out we know i is equal to e by r this is the formula e is equal to minus d phi by dt therefore i will be equal to minus d phi by dt divided by r okay induced current will be opposite to the direction of change of flux that is induced current eddy current okay example for eddy current is see if i am considering a, uh, an electromagnet an electromagnet is present here okay if i while i am switching and i am keeping one metallic disc over it while i am switching on the electromagnet what will happen a large amount of current is passing through it right so uh, it will be an emf will be inducing in that circuit current uh, current conduct, current in the conductor is changing so an emf is inducing in the conductor and that emf will always opposes the cause for its production we know it will be try to repel it so here a repulsive force will be coming due to that this metal disc will be moving upward okay so that is uh, one effect of eddy current same way if we are considering a bulk there's a uh, magnet a magnet is present here one uh, play, uh, in a sheet as a metallic sheet is present over there and it is oscillating in that and when the magnet is the if the after some time we can see the oscillation is decreasing how the oscillation is decreasing that is called a electromagnetic damping because magnetic flux lung, linked with the circuit changing continuously so an emf is inducing in the opposite direction so as the area of the coil is increasing according to that now the damping also will be more it will be uh, the uh, oscillations will be damping damping of oscillation its uh, amplitude is decreasing the amplitude of oscillation will be decreasing due to the effect of this eddy current so instead of uh, using this big sheet if we are keeping slots in between so area of the coil is decreasing right so magnetic moment also will be decreasing we know m equals i into a so as magnetic mo area decreases magnetic moment also will be decreasing because of that damping also will be decreasing but many of this uh, this electromagnetic damping will become a useful uh, it will be an application for us how it will be an application for us uh, see in uh, magnetic trains how to apply the brakes in magnetic trains see if uh, the uh, in not magnetic trains electro electric trains in electric trains when we are applying uh, this current when we are switching on or this uh, when we are applying the brakes what will happen a large amount of magnetic field will be developing across the rails and the wheels okay between those so it will be helping the uh, in the opposite direction it will be developing and it will be helping the uh, train to stop okay so many a times the eddy currents are becoming a, a useful thing for us okay so these are about the eddy currents is it clear next we are going to study about self induction okay what is meant by self induction self means yes to its own right so i am considering a conductor a coil current is passing through the coil okay so when current is increasing in that coil when i am switching on current is slowly passing through that so current is increasing 
so what will happen an emf will be induced um, uh, is a magnetic field will be developing that magnetic field will be changing right current carrying coil this coil is giving a uh, conductor this is uh, carrying current so it will be having magnetic field as the current increases magnetic field also will be increasing so current in in presence of a magnet the coil is present in in the magnetic field so this will be developing an emf okay so it the because of the current produced in the coil an emf is inducing in that itself okay an emf is inducing in the coil because of the change in magnetic flux or change in magnetic flux in that coil itself so everything is happening in the same coil so such property is called as self induction an emf is inducing in the coil because of the change of current in that coil itself okay so in this coil we know the current is passing from positive to negative charge like this so induced current will be or induced emf will be in the direction which is opposing the cause for it here what is the cause for the induced emf because of increase of current so increase of current is happening in this direction so this is the actual emf but induced emf will be acting in the opposite direction okay the direction of induced emf will be just opposite to the applied emf or applied current right so that emf is called as back emf if a back emf is present in that coil then the, it will be a net effect will be less if we are applying a capital e to emf to the circuit then we won't be getting the capital e that is why when we are applying an uh, alternating current the glow of the bulb will be varying continuously what is the reason because of the if we are applying an alternating current see positive to negative then direction is changing obviously emf also see it will be uh, continuous and induced emf will be developing continuously this will be giving uh, uh, the emf will be acting in the opposite direction so back emf is producing this will reduce the glow of the bulb okay that is called a self in this property is called a self induction okay the in the coil itself current is changing because of that change of current and emf is inducing in that coil itself that is self induction self induction self induced flux will be proportional to current and induced current change in flux is proportional to current so phi is equal to constant l into i this l is called as self inductance okay or coefficient of self induction we will say or we can say it as self inductance l is equal to phi by i okay this is the formula for uh, uh, this self inductance l is equal to phi by i now we got the value of l here i am going to find out the induced emf induced emf will be e is equal to minus d phi by dt as per faraday's law right minus d by dt of l into i so we can write it as l into minus l into di by dt so here l is called a self induction or or sorry self inductance or coefficient of self inductance okay so coefficient of self induction is how we can explain or how we can define this coefficient of self induction or self inductance how we can define that so usually the uh, this coefficient of self induction means uh, you from the formula only we will be defining right so here in the same way here we can define it as if the rate of change of current in the coil is 1 ampere per second then emf induced in the coil is called as coil l or coefficient of self induction or coefficient of self induction we can define it as what is the unit of coefficient of self induction unit is henry 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 is the unit how we can define the define henry in terms of coefficient self induction coefficient in terms of coefficient of self induction we can define henry as if di by dt equals 1 ampere per second 
1 ampere per second and EMF is equal to 1 volt then L is equal to 1 Henry. Okay, if current, if a current rate of change of current in the circuit is 1 ampere per second, which produces an induced EMF of 1 volt, then the self-inductance will be equal to 1 Henry. Okay, the E is equal to if di by dt equals 1 ampere per second and EMF is 1 volt, then the self-inductance will be equal to 1 Henry. This is for the single coil itself. Now, if we are considering two coils, current, current in one of the coil is changing and EMF is inducing in the another coil. This is called a mutual induction. So, here we considered only one coil, right? Same way if we are considering two coils. Two coils we are considering in current in the one of the coil is we are changing current in one of the coils and EMF will be inducing in the another coil. This phenomenon is known as mutual induction. Okay, mutual induction is the one coil current is changing and because of that change of current an EMF is inducing in the nearby coil or next coil that is called as mutual induction. So, here phi is proportional, here also phi is proportional to I or we can write it as phi is equal to M into I where M is called a coefficient of uh, mutual induction or mutual inductance. Okay, and EMF will be equal to M into minus M into DI by DT. Minus M into DI by DT. It will be in the opposite direction. Okay, so self-induction, mutual induction and this eddy current. Those things, you would have got an idea I guess. Uh, so, if you, that's all for today. And if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.